Good morning, everybody. We are vlogging again today, and we're back in 1080p. I'm not doing 4K anymore, but I want to try something. What I'm filming on right now is actually a flagship phone from like back in 2019. This is the Note 10. This is a really expensive camera. It's got three cameras on the back. It's got the front-facing camera. But what I want to know is, is that necessary? Can I use a $50 Motorola phone to vlog on and still get like interesting content? So we're going to switch over now. This is what the front-facing camera on a $50 Motorola phone looks like. How does the audio sound? How does it look? Uh, I'm assuming not that great, but the thing that I'm most worried about isn't the front-facing camera, it's the back cameras, because I use these all the time. I use the wide-angle one when I'm walking so you can see around me. I zoom in when I'm trying to like look at a sign. I'm a little bit worried that this one camera that I've got on here is not going to be sufficient. But we're going to try, because I need to know if I got mugged, if this, if this got stolen from me, could I still keep making videos? So this is going to be the only phone that I use today. Because while I am testing if it's a good vlogging camera, I'm also testing if it's just like a good phone in general. Again, if my main camera got stolen, can I use this one as my primary? Before we end up going and getting food, I want to go on a walk on that sidewalk again because the sun is coming up and it's not very hot right now, but I know it will get hotter later. So, walking first. I was wrong. It's already hot. Oh my god, this camera is so slow. It takes like six seconds just to open the app and launch the camera. I don't think I can work with this. Like, look at how bad this dynamic range is. We are going home and we are getting the better camera. Like, look at how jittery this is. We okay, we are back on the main sensor. But I want to show you guys something. The biggest problem with this phone isn't actually the quality of the camera. It's how long it takes to open it. So, if I double press on the power button, nothing happens. I have to actually sign into the phone. I have to come over here. I have to click the camera app. Look at how long that took to start up. Whereas with this phone, I can just double tap the power button and have this open in like half of a second. And that is super important because a lot of the things that I do, they're really quick shots. Like I just go up there and I'll, I need to film really quickly. So that cannot work for this kind of vlogging setup. Anyway, let's go get some food. See, another thing is that I have like three different lenses here so I can go normal lens, I can zoom out, or I can zoom in. And all of them are super seamless. You can't do this on the other phone. One of the things that you guys will learn about me is that I am really consistent with my food. Like I'm adventurous in life. I am not adventurous with food. So once I find something that I like, I stick with it basically forever. <sighs> I got that whole pizza for less than a dollar because I decided not to get the beef on it. So we're gonna be sticking with tomatoes on that pizza from now on. Less than a dollar, damn. We're gonna take our extra savings and we're gonna pump them right into Diet Pepsi. Okay, we got the Pepsi. Now we've gotta go film some stuff. See, today represents two actually very important dates. The first of which is one year on TikTok. I've been on TikTok for one year, and so I wanna go do like a, like a recap of all of my highlights on TikTok. And today is also one month that I've been monetized on YouTube. So I need to film a video showing like how much I've made, what my price per thousand views is. So I've actually got a couple videos to go film. Let's go do that. And for these, I'm gonna use my fancy camera because I'm able to just sit here at my desk. It's not gonna be shaking. I'm not gonna be like moving it around as I walk. So this is the perfect camera for that kind of footage. I've got my camera set up here. If you guys actually want to watch the video where I talk about how much money I've made, um, you guys have to watch that video in a different one. I don't want to mix these up. This gives me more views if you watch this video and that video. So I just, I'm posting that right now. Okay, one video is done. Let's go get some food. Got my key. Yes, good show. But first, we are going to go on another walk around the thing for a couple miles just because it's cooler now and I like walking around it. I really do like this place. We are going back to the pastry place. Dinner today was $2, almost exactly, like almost exactly $2. Let me show you what we got. We got two more chocolate croissants and then two more chocolate donuts. This whole thing, $2, this is insane. Pastries are fantastic. I think this is what I'm gonna miss the most. The little pizza manchewy things and the, the donuts. And the apartment, I really like the apartment. I'm gonna miss that too. But right now, I want to shop around for better Pepsi prices. The guy next to my apartment raised his prices because of inflation, but I'm not sure if other places have. And before you guys give me shit for eating croissants for dinner, just remember, I've walked like five miles today, I can eat what I want. It's honestly surprising to me how many places sell fresh fruit, and that's like all that they do. There's like little farmer's markets. Except I'm not looking for fruit, so that's not helpful to me. Oh, but here we go. I picked up some Diet Pepsi. I picked up a couple bags of these chips because these little Doritos knockoffs are fantastic. And the big bags are really rare. They usually try to sell small bags. So I got a couple bags of these big ones for the next couple days. 
I got some sour worms. Um, sour food is incredibly rare in this part of the world, I find. So I want to try as many of the different types of sour candy that they have as I can. And I also got uh, some gum. Can we have a conversation for a second? I was just about to post today's video, but I canceled the export because I wanted to film this. I'm going to take this footage and I'm going to throw it in the video right there. But I posted a video earlier today showing how much money I make on YouTube in the first month of being monetized. And I got a couple comments from people criticizing that, that they don't like it when I talk about the money because it takes them out of the experience. They don't want to think that I'm doing this because I'm just trying to get paid and I'm just trying to get a paycheck. I'm going to break any illusions you guys have. I am doing this for the money. I am on YouTube because it pays me. This is a job. This is a full-time thing, making these videos, editing them, posting them. This is work. This is a lot of work. If I was just doing this for the art of the craft, I would still be on TikTok just making like 30 second clips of the food that I eat. This YouTube thing is a lot of work and I'm doing it because I get paid to do it. If me talking about that takes you out of it, then I'm sorry, but that's just, that's just not authentic. That's, that's not why I'm doing this. So sorry to burst your bubble. Oh, but before I close out of the video, I want to give you guys some updates on some of the other stuff that we started in prior seasons, like the Fiverr campaign that we started and the TikTok account that we've got going. Um, the Fiverr campaign, we've already, I've already got like six or seven gigs set my way of people that want me to review their TikTok accounts. I can't actually take those gigs yet because it's not part of the season and I'm waiting till I'm actually filming myself to make money for that to be profitable. But it looks like we can start reviewing people's TikTok accounts for money. And the TikTok account that we started for this one, the one that I have here that I'm not going to show you guys the name, uh, that's doing great. It keeps getting viral videos. I'm not getting as many followers as I want. I imagine like if you're getting hundreds of thousands of views per video, you would get more followers, but that doesn't seem to be the case. Regardless, I think that might be big enough now to try to start selling that audience to people, to try to start selling like promotional posts. We're going to try it. I'm not sure if it's going to work, but we're going to try using that TikTok account to make money. Um, if you guys want to see what happened yesterday, you can click this card right here. And if you want to see what happens tomorrow, you can click this one.